Hello my friends, Brandon Wells here with Fast Style Part 2, customizing your Fast Style. Uh, right now your Fast Style probably looks something similar to this with nine thumbnails on the front page. You may or may not have websites in them, it does not matter at this point. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to customize this. Uh, I found this because uh, I was wanting to get more websites saved on here and uh, we needed to find a way to do that. Kind of stumbled upon this. You're going to go up here to your icon where the arrow is, left click, and you'll pull up Preferences. Now when your Preference windows come up, you should open up right on the General tab. And if you look in the folder, it says Quantity of 3x3. Three three. Well, that's going to be how wide by how deep this your, your thumbnails are. So I like to personally have mine set at 6x10. So I'll end up with 60 thumbnails on my page. Um, and then what you want to do is click on this box that says fixed. That'll make them go all the way across your screen again. Now as you can probably see they're a little bit wider than the screen so we're going to go ahead and drop this down to about 200 in size, 200 by 150. Okay. You also want to drop down here to where it says open in and you want to do a new tab or you can click current tab. What this will do is it will make that setting in every single one of your thumbnails be, thumbnails be the default setting. I personally like to use new tab. That way I can have fast style open once and I can blast through all these different tabs and never have to leave fast style. So I'm going to apply that to all folders. Now we get to step in here and have some fun. You can play around with the appearance a little bit. Uh, I like to change my font, have some fun with it, kind of make it my own. You know, it makes me feel like I'm at home when it's when it's your own. So I'm going to change my font a little bit here. Uh, you can upload an image right here into your back uh, into the the background. Uh, I personally don't like to do that. I'm just going to set mine with a black background and I'm probably going to reduce my spacing here a little bit. I'll reduce my spacing to five. Okay. Uh, then I want to go to my thumbnails and uh, let's see here. I'm going to go to my thumbnails here and we're going to change my background color which will change it on the unused thumbnails. So I'm going to change it to nice dark blue. Uh, I like my borders since I have a black background I'll do a white border. Uh, my title background I'll probably do something in like a dark red. And You can see as I'm changing this where they're changing uh, and kind of follow along and just have some fun with this. You know then my title color is going to be the actual text the color of the text. So of course I want to change it to white so it kind of pops out a little bit more on me. Uh, then you can go in your active thumbnails. These are going to be when you place your cursor over the thumbnail what it looks like. So I like to kind of put mine on a green. Uh, so I'll for the for the unused ones and we'll go down an unused you see we go at the blue they turn green when uh, you know to let me know that we can use them. Uh, I also like to change my borders again. Uh, just kind of play around with a little bit and have some fun. Um, you know whatever you want to do. So I change mine to black and I'm going to change my title color to white. That way when I place my cursor over it, I know I'm on it because it changes from red to black. Alright guys, that's about it. Uh, if you ever feel like you screwed up or you want to start all over again, you can just simply click on defaults. Uh, if you click on defaults, it'll bring you right back to where you started and you can go all through this again. So, uh, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you uh, rate this video. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know how I'm doing, and uh, if there's anything that I missed here, anything extra that you know about Fast Style that, uh, that I'm missing or that can help me out, I'd love to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching and taking your time, and we will catch you on the next video.